I've been spending the last four days here in the yard giving stuff away out of my shop because I don't have room in there. I'm not going to retire or do anything. I'm going to keep working, but I just need to make some space. So people are asking me that question. Um, and that's been a transformative experience. Uh, so from Capaicea, where my mother buys the chocolate from the small boutique, to Saint-Michel de Latalie, where she lives now, where I was born, to Port-au-Prince, where the airport is, on a plane, to New York, to Chicago, back to New York, <laughs> <laughs> and back to Chicago, and in my mail slot. Brown sugar. Brown sugar! Brown sugar. <laughs> Brown sugar. <laughs> Vanilla. Butter. Cacao. Brown sugar. Cacao. <laughs> Nutmeg, nutmeg. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. Cacao. And I am thrilled because it is cold and I'm still eating ramen. <laughs> and this is a treat. And I boil it and it smells like home. So when thinking about art and money, a few questions occur. What is art? How does it operate? What is it supposed to do? What's at stake? I make movies because I have questions. <coughs> Earl Morris. I paint to see. Jean Dubuffet. As a baker bakes his loaves. So I work on my art, Constantine Brancouche. Words leapt from the depths of my black woman child's soul. Scribing to stay alive, I write as an act of resistance. I, black woman child, listen to the poetic, historical chorus of sisters on journeys in search of truth. Mari, right? So I need you to think of two traits that you're born with, ethnicity, gender, sexuality, whatever you want to put down on your paper. Two, and then why you think that's an asset, right? And then on the other half of your paper, you're going to do your acquired traits. Acquired traits are things that we get. Now, in this country, this mycelial network through the trees can extend as far as your eye can see. So one tree can be in relationship for 50 miles, sending resources back and forth. This is a natural economy, not of scarcity, not of competition, but of cooperation and abundance. It's an economy of attraction. This is an economy of relationship. And it's, it's a, an economy of creativity because it's co-created based on that community's body's needs and gifts. And it's not constrained by a market. We make the market. <laughs>